In Crystal Reports, one of the most fundamental things we need to do is connect to a data source. Crystal without data is like a car without gas. It needs information to report on. Luckily, the connection process is pretty easy. Having opened the program, the first thing to do is decide how to create the report. To start from scratch, we can go with blank report. I'll click that. We have to know what kind of data source we're hooking into. The good news is the program can tap many different kinds of files for data, even text files. But for this example, I'll go the simple route and just use an ordinary access database. The process involves answering a few questions. First, where's the data? That's this part. We click the expander to create a new connection, and then the one for Access Excel here. And in the resulting dialog box, we would do our usual navigation to the file we're tapping. So I can click the Browse button. Usually it takes a second or two. And if I hadn't already been in the folder for my database, I would simply go to my desktop or wherever else, double-click the appropriate folder, navigate down if need be, and when I find the file in question, double-click. Sometimes we have to log in, enter a password, and so on. This database isn't locked, so no need for these things right now. I click Finish at the bottom, and the connection is made. The next part is to tell the program which table or tables I want to get info from. So I expand the Tables item here to see which tables are available. If, as in this example, I only need one table, I would double-click it on the left to make it a selected table on the right, or give it a single click and then hit the button here in the middle to move it over. Multiple tables can involve table relationships, which I won't cover here. I'll just use the one table called Orders. I give it a double click, as I said, and here it is. Once it's on the right-hand side, once I have at least one table to get data from, I'm ready to start building my report. I can OK out of the Database Expert box at the bottom here, bring up my Field Explorer, if need be, if it's already here, I'm fine, but I could go to the View menu, for example, and click on it here. And then expand the list of database fields or tables in the Explorer itself. And finally, expand the table of orders, from which I can now see the individual fields. Finally, I can go ahead and drag the fields I need into the Details section, where they will show up the individual pieces of information. And the fields I will want for this particular report will start with Order ID, which I drag over. I will then want Customer ID. It takes a little practice to get these in place, but it's not difficult. It's merely a question of uh, watching where you drag, watching where the point of the arrow is. The labels are formed automatically in the page header right above. I then need Ship City. And finally, Ship Region. Once they're in the report, I might need to align the fields, space them carefully, and so on. But the most important part is done. Where are you getting the data? Which specific tables and fields do you want to use? And how do you want the items arranged? These are the main questions you need to answer to start building a crystal report. It wouldn't hurt to sketch the layout first, or check with whoever the report is for as well.